exception for a reason. I'm in the chaos dimension. Reasons eclipsed by tension. Someone tell me the reason I'm in the chaos dimension Trapped in a brutal adventure If it stops, I'm If it stops, I'm If it stops, I'm having a bad dream everybody, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro is coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight we get to see the top team in the league. Wonder what it's like to coach the best team. Well, why wouldn't you, Doc? You certainly want to be standing behind that bench, but there are some challenges because you know the opposition is going to bring their best. They know that we're playing really well. They don't want to get embarrassed. So I think the challenge is, is to continue to get the focus from your team, play the way that you have, but understand is that you're going to have to bring your work boots here tonight to have any chance at winning this game. The Capitals coaching staff has prepared them extremely well. Regardless of the situation, they never change. If they're up a goal, down a goal, they stay with their same game plan and adjust accordingly. That's why they're on top of the league standings. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. Hopefully his team will give him more support than they did last time. And I'm sure that the coach has spoken with him about bouncing back because it was a decisive loss. Coaching staff has faith here. He can get better in this one after losing the last one. As we get prepared for this one, no surprise Zach Parisi is in the starting lineup out of the University of North Dakota, a 45-goal scorer in New Jersey. The opening faceoff has gotten us underway here. Washington's got to be disappointed with their performance last game. They seem amped up right now, and they'll be looking for a solid start. Play, hold it, down to the ice, and right. Dubnik's play this season has been so consistent. He's got an excellent win-loss record. He doesn't give up the bad goal when it's a crippling time for a team. He makes the big save when he has to. And as a result, the penalty killing's been really good, and they have enough confidence to be aggressive offensively to put enough numbers up on the board. Thanks very much, Ray. A rocket! Wonder He scores! First goal to the visitors. Great start for them. beside me pretty quickly here. Very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal. We knew the scoreless tie would be broken. Who thought this early and by the visitor? Boy, the visitors got to gain a lot of confidence getting this early lead. They've got the draw. By number 92. Stolen at center ice. By number eight. Is able to move on in. That puck came back to neutral ice, and so things will have to regroup. Kuznetsov's play defensively has grown in leaps and bounds. As a result, he has among the highest plus-minus totals in the league. The Capitals prevailed again. A long scorcher. Stood his ground and got a block shot. Things are heating up with that hit. Well, there's no surprise there, Doc. We expected a physical game. The contest will be aggressive from start to finish. There's an early hit to set the tone. 
Washington's making their way through center ice at the boards. Great job in his own end with that interception. That one is pointed to him. Missed all of it. Gathered up by Zach Parisi. And the pickup. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. Just over six minutes played in the first. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Directing that one to Oshie. Chip to Ovechkin. Great defensive post. Delay penalty coming up. Washington's getting a minor. And the call is Porter. This was a dangerous hit here, Doc. No chance for the player to protect himself. Minnesota's power play gets its first chance in this game tonight. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Wouldn't let him by. In with it now. Good shooting place. Save! Collected by Carlson. Moving it to Rask. By himself. An open ice collision. Well, that's a good open ice hit right there. You catch him with his head down just for an instant. You close the gap and finish the check. Nice work by Rask. Minnesota's in possession now as they move up the wing. Shoots it off. Oh, what a chance. What a save. Pass attempt to Eller. A uh, howitzer. Passing one off now to Verano. Right off the left wing, it comes on through right on his stick. Tipped away. Minnesota's power play unit let them down this time. It was a chance to tie the game. Gathered up again by Ovechkin. Propelled to Fair. Corralled it again. And now we'll get the penalty call. The Capitals have accrued a penalty. It's a minor for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Minnesota's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, you're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. Wonderful stop. The Capitals have it along the side at mid-ice. Fires! Oh, a save there. Terrific determination by Parisi. On to Dumpa. Takes that pass. Fires! Stick save on the changing shot. The net has come loose, and so we will wait for another faceoff. Capitals with a clean win on the draw. Washington's handling the puck at center. He's got that pass at the point. Cut that pass in his own end. Cranks a blast! Great save. Pitching this one to Carlson. Laid on to Zucker. Slid to Eric Stahl. The big pillows came in handy. Washington's moving it up the wing. The Capitals have taken care of the penalty. Back at full strength. Scooped up by Miko Koivu. Canes that offensive line. Koivu's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Carlson's going to the box. A player hit the ice and the call on them is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The power play is all about adjustments. They need to find a way to get more people and pucks to the net. I sure agree, Eddie. Critical win where they need it. Save! You lost possession there. This is tiring labor. The Capitals lug that along in the defensive zone. 
Now it's directed to Eller. Steps across that line. Spurgeon slashed, and the arm of the referee is up. A penalty will be coming. Oh, she's penalized two minutes for slashing. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. One of the biggest mistakes a five on three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around and you start to tire them out. A little under six minutes remaining here in the period. Washington's up in this game, one nothing. Solid clean win. Gathered up again by Raz. Nice job with the stick by Baxter. Snapping a pass to Orlov. Chewed up more time in that penalty kill by getting rid of it there. Suter's headed to neutral ice. And he steps in. Oh, snaps the shot! Save! Shoots! Outstanding point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Chip to Raps. And a save! He holds that one, and it's a good thing because they were buzzing. Hope he's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Washington's prevailed on another faceoff. The Capitals with possession up the wing. Bad luck, broken stick. Trying to go to Suter. To Zucker. Puck flipped up, out of play, into the bench here. Washington's coaching staff's done an exceptional job this year, moving the pieces of the puzzle around to get the best results. As a result of a lineup that's pretty varied, they're tough to play against, and they lead the league standings as a result. I like what you said there, Ray. Let's see if it holds true as this game unfolds further. Minnesota's power play comes up empty again, and play continues. Puck is thrown to Eller. Solid work there by Spurgeon. Pitching it to Zucker. Skilled play by Hamannick. Right winged to Kuznetsov. He cut that one off in the defensive end. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. Took that away in his own zone. A collision! Carlson's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notice. Has that one measured in his own end. Save there. First period stats are final. We'll have some more entries as the second and third periods are forthcoming. Washington's got the only goal in this one thus far. Let's check out the shots on goal, and one gets an exclamation point. Listen to this. A lucky 13 for the Wild and 7 for Washington. Hey, fans, now is the time to pick up your team calendar. Washington's go-ahead goal in this game came a long time ago. And then the teams battled pretty much on even terms the rest of the way. We'll see what the next period brings about. But for now, we'll be right back. Period two has begun. Ray Ferraro is closest to the action. Eddie Olczyk is alongside Mike Emery. Yours truly upstairs. Propelled to Kuznetsov. Wonderful stop. A delayed penalty call to signal. Minnesota's carrying it around through center. The goalie gets to the bench. Still, there's time on this delayed call. Oh, and he robbed him. Kuznetsov's going to the penalty box, and the call is a boarding minor. 
These are the type of plays, Doc, that we want to eliminate from the game where the attacking player has no chance to protect himself when getting hit from behind. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? They didn't take advantage on the power play earlier in the game. Let's see if they can jump on the board here. Two minutes for boarding. Time of the penalty. Two minutes. Terrific determination by Oshie. Looking to Carlson. Gains the zone and looks over his options. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Dogged determination there by Oshie. Whistle is blown. Penalty call. Guilty party departs. Parisi's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. The teams will go four on four. Do you take risks offensively, or do you just play defense and limit mistakes? I hope they take chances myself. The open ice leads to some great scoring chances four on four. You get a defenseman into the rush. If you don't score, the other team's guaranteed a two on one going back the other way. Gathered up again by Alexander Ovechkin. Couldn't get through, it's loose. And he dumps it in. A big, big hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Washington's got two minutes on their penalty total, and this one's for slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. It is a short power play, but it's a four on three, and it starts in the offensive zone. Good face-off victory there. Takes a shot. Great save. Directing that one to Orlov. Moving it to Butcher. Steps in from the neutral zone. Minnesota's power play still needs work. Goes back deep for it. Pass attempt to Orlov. Passing one off now to Carlson. Big hits in open ice. That hit might rattle a few teeth. Has that one measured at center. Good defensive work at center by Zucker. Big drive and a save. Smart recovery by Ryan Suter. Pitching this one to Zucker. A chance to clear. Now it's directed to Hamannick. Carries it on in from center. Stole that pass away in his own end. Washington's been doing a great job in penalty killing. And there's another example. Just finished. Glides across. On to Fiala. Makes a shot. Great save in close. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. Can he clear? Mishandled thanks to the roadblock. Gains the zone. Let's it go. Save. And still another save. What a show. Smart recovery by Baxter. Fires a shot. Glove save. Nice. Snapping a pass to Rask. Up that right side to Oshi. Snaps one. Skill play by Spurgeon. Trying to go to Orlov. Grab that pass in the neutral zone. Skates it into the zone. Out in front. They score! And they've tied the game up! at this point, guys, it doesn't really matter what the game looks like. It's back to even square, and we'll find out who's going to take the lead next. Under nine minutes to go, second period. Scrappy game. Both of these teams have connected once. Puck is thrown to Declare. Gathered up by Spurgeon. Pitching it to Brown. 
The dump in clears the defense. Looking to Eller. Directing that one to Verano. Laid on to Carlson. Fires! Got it in the slot. A shot. Slid to Carlson. Need to get rid of it. I'm generally a guy that's entertained by lots of goals and low scoring games kind of bore me, but this has been pretty good. There's been chances, the goaltenders have been good, and it's been very physical. Washington's carrying it through center. Gets in, looks over his options here. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Collected by Ryan Suter. They just keep working away, don't they? Takes it right back. Patsitz won. Save. A smart play to cover up here. His team was in trouble. There aren't many ways to slow the game down. This is one of them. Make a save, get a whistle. Good offensive zone win. Outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance. Minnesota's got it in their own end, hoping for center. It's dumped in. Puck loose now picked up. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. All a part of generating an offense. A little pass off from the goalie. Washington's winging it at neutral ice. Let's it go. Good save there. Well, the goalie will take these all day. His save percentage goes up. Click, click, click with muffins like this to stop. The face off, the tie up, and a solid job from the winger there. Good pass up that left wing, and he's got it. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Got in the way of that one. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. As is our custom, we look now at the shots on goal. Wow, does anybody play defense here? 21 for the Wild, and 19 for Washington. Brown's shot became his goal. It tied the game, and we had to break. Sporting goods for a coupon good for ten dollars off your next purchase, fifty dollars or more. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? Washington's gotten themselves into some penalty trouble, Doc, but it hasn't hurt them to this point. Outstanding work, shorthanded. Third period has begun. The next one could be the winning one. Stood up there. Chip to Parisi. Man, oh man, what a hit. The fans are really into that big hit. Good stick work, and for that reason, it's a chance for the offense. Shoots one. That pop hit him on the way to the net. The Capitals continue on in their own end. Propelled to Carlson. Right along the blue line. Let's it go. Got a piece of that one. Nice work by Ovechkin. Oh, here's a wrister. Eric Stahl's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. The Capitals are given a hooking minor. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Minnesota's power play has had many opportunities, just not much success. Maybe that'll change. Well, their power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity to see if they can take advantage of it. Moving it to Eller. Brings it in for an attack. Got that! Tremendous scoring chance. Puts one on. Say. 
Gathered up again by Rams. On to Spurgeon. Strong wrister and a save. Intercepted pass. Quick wrister. Score! Minnesota's broken the tie here in the third period. Let's see what happens before time expires. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Big drive, deflected off the blocker. Drives it, and on top of that, another great stop. Amazing reflexes. Picks his pocket. Good standing poke check by Orpin. Right to the point. A shot. Got it all. Boomerangs it ahead to Connolly. Pass attempt to Buchnevich. Swipes that. Minnesota's forced another turnover in this very close game. Passing one off now to Miko Koivu. Good solid poke check there. Terrific determination by Carlson. And you thought open ice hitting was gone. Solid hit in the middle of the ice. Those are old-fashioned hits. We don't see many of those anymore. Blockered away. Pitching this one to Domi. Each team has tried to force their will onto the game at various points tonight, but there is no spread in the game. Two evenly matched teams playing a tight game. Vancouver is the next team to come through town on this long homestand that the fans are thoroughly enjoying, and they would like a lot of positive outcomes before it ends. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. So back to center ice they come on that offside. Washington's got it off the draw at center. Let's it go. Save. And now it's directed to Rask. Minnesota's looking to head man up the wing. And he dumps it in. Snapping a pass to Ovechkin. Nicely into the zone. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. A solo rush. Save there. Trying to go to Ovechkin. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. A little over five minutes left to go in the third. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. Took care of that one. Puck is thrown to Kucherov. Crosses that line. He throws it there. Wonderful stop. Banks it ahead to Parisi. That was one he'll get the number on. Hemenick's speed allows him to close onto his man, and then he flattens him. This is a great hit designed to spark his team in their comeback. Washington's got possession from the faceoff. And the play goes offside. Washington's won that faceoff and possession established. Ripper! Off that save, the puck has gone over the glass, out of play. Okay, now they've won it. Let's see. Score! And this 
one is tied. You get the lead, you want to pin the lead down. You want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out. But they don't. They give up the tying goal. And now we're back to even. Warloff's tied this game up late. Does he have another in him? Maybe now? Maybe overtime? The Capitals win the draw. What's next? Dimitri Orlov, assisted by number 20, Lars Eller. Played on to Verona. The final 60, at least of regulation time. A huge moment in the game. Could it swing on this penalty? Minnesota's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. The Capitals get their first power play of the game, and it is big. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. Carries it to the corner. Oh, and the puck winds up back at center ice. Man. The Capitals lug that along up the wing. Scooped up by Brodeen. Muscled right off it. Quick wrist shot. No luck. Pretty tough to score on a grade A chance if you don't hit the net. That's being too fine with the puck. He's got to hit the net from him. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Can start the attack going in the zone. Gathered up again by Fair. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. Well, the goaltender read this really well. He's down in the butterfly and he's going to stop this all day. Enormous defensive faceoff win. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Flings it. Blocked. Shoots. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. A tremendous back and forth through three periods. Perhaps a decision will come in sudden death overtime. It's time for our the Capitals have carried this game into overtime because of this scoring play. We'll be right back with OT in just a moment. Period begins with the power play underway. Let's it rip. Off target. Fires. Save. Freezes play. A clutch win of the faceoff there. Big drive. Save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. Minnesota's coach was standing with the paper and pen in his hand, wasn't filling anyone's name in to shoot. Maybe that's a result of their record of the shootout, and he's looking for new names. Unfortunately, he's still got the same lineup. Pitching it to Kuznetsov. Looking to Ovechkin. Minnesota's penalty killers have done it at the right time. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Just a hair under four minutes to go in the period. And this game is tied at two. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? Directing that one to Eric Stahl. Gains the blue line. The puck heads to neutral zone. 
And look, it's just like a magnet. Everybody goes there. Parisi's still feeling the effects of that huge hit. He's got to learn you cannot play with your head down at this level. Good reach there. Slid to Eric Stahl. And they are in. Minnesota's for the win! Right into the slot. What a reaction save. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Moving it to Ovechkin. The pad came in handy that time. Solid work there by Ryan Suter. He hangs on and gets the whistle. The shooter didn't get too much on that. Not a very dangerous opportunity for the goalie to stop, but he went in the butterfly just to be sure. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Pass attempt to Dumba. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Leads that charge into the zone. Shoots. Great save. Skilled play by Baxter. Passing one off now to Kucherov. Save. Last minute of play in the overtime. Will there be a shootout ahead, or could we get a late winner? Dawn, they've got a two-on-one here. Score! Game over. Overtime winning goal. And that's the end of this one. The game has ended. When it gets to OT, it seems like the smallest thing can happen and then go wrong for a team. In this case tonight, it went right for one. The little extra plays that make all the difference. What a terrific game of hockey. Well played by now. Very tired players. A great time. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night all.